Today, I'm going to be talking about gaining authority and influence. If you want to gain authority and influence within the social web, it's a good idea to make sure that you are knowledgeable enough to warrant this kind of tag. You need to be thoroughly knowledgeable about your particular subject or niche. It's no good going with a smattering of knowledge, smattering of ideas of information that you may have, or even merely a bit of a passion, unless your passion has been lifelong or you've been focusing on this passion for quite some time. If you think you have gained certainly a few years worth of knowledge within your subject, niche or industry, and then having amassed all this information, you then need to be willing to share it with your followers. You see, being an authority or an influencer is actually all about being willing to share what you know with everybody else. And not only share it, but share it willingly and consistently share quality and value so that it will always benefit the other person, the person who receives it. The idea is to solve any problems, answer questions, make a difference to other people's lives. Other people have got to go away with the information they've got from you and they need to implement it so that their lives are improved, their business starts to thrive, they have all their problems solved, and the situation they have is vastly improved. Another thing about making sure that everybody who receives your information, they've got to then not only benefit from it, but they've got to feel comfortable with the information you have. In other words, you've got to make sure that the information you give other people is tangible, is usable, and they can take it away and make a difference with it. They can feel more clever, more fulfilled, more ability to solve their own problems, to go away and take action with the information you've given them. And this is a way of you showing that you care about these people, because if they feel that you have a sympathy and empathy, a desire to do good with them, then they're gonna come back for more. And it's all about showing up more consistently in their lives, not necessarily to be able to do good every single time, but to show that you are there, you are willing to help them, you want to know more about how they're doing, you want to ask them questions and let them ask you questions and you can do your best to answer them. Another thing about answering questions is that you should always be transparent with what you know. If you don't know something, say, oh, I don't know that, I'll go away, find out and come back to you. If you make a mistake in finding some information, own up. All this ability to show your vulnerability will make you more human, more relatable. People will be able to have an affinity with you, have a connection with you. And this is very important because people need to feel connected with their influencers. You can be in awe of somebody and they're so aloof and far apart, you never feel you can approach them. But if an influencer is to be successful, they need to be approachable by the public that they serve and meet with their information that they like to impart to them. Provide information for people to improve their lives. Share your stories and experiences with them in such a way that they feel that they have an affinity. They feel that, oh yes, I've had a similar experience. I can relate to what you've just said. I know exactly what you mean. I have done that myself before. Little things like that, which make you more human, more approachable, more people more comfortable to come and talk to you because an influencer should not be standoffish. They should be 
easily accessible and even though they provide lots of information because of their authority, because of their hard work and the knowledge they've accrued over the years, they still need to be able to give this information to all the people who follow them and the people who request help from them need to know that they can come freely to these people and to gain the information that they crave. Now, how does this all relate to commenting? The majority of all this communication is done via comments. The comments can be done on social media or on blogs or any other kind of forum that the authorities and the influencers like to manage. None of this communication would happen if it wasn't for comments. Comments is the way of communicating with your followers. It's also not only communicating, it's striking up conversations, it's forming relationships. People get to know, like and trust you by these conversations that you have via social media or on your blogs. And that is how a influencer becomes more approachable, more relatable, because you allow yourself to merge almost with your audience. They should feel comfortable enough that you are able to come down to their level, feel you can go amongst them and become one of them. So that even though you have an authority and even though you are an influencer, you're not so far removed that they feel they cannot approach you with their questions and their problems. And this is the best way of imparting your knowledge and well, of course, all this will then maintain your authority and maintain your influential capacity with all your followers. Because you have built up this relationship, you have built up the way that you are able to communicate with them through commenting, through conversation, through discussion, through even things like competitions and other ways of connecting with your followers.